All right, we want to calculate the bond order of uh, F2 positive. Now, had that just been F2, we would really just be able to look at just the uh, number of bonds between the two. But we want to see if it's um, if that positive makes the bond stronger or weaker. But our um, basic rules, our simplification is, since it is F2, we know F2 does on the Lewis structure just have a single bond. The positive either makes it go up by a half or down by a half. So if we have to guess, it's only going to be B or D. All right, but to figure it out fully, I'm going to move this page down a little bit. We are going to look at how the S orbitals and the P orbitals and the valence shell of each of those two guys overlap. All right, the two S orbitals overlap to create our sigmas, and the two P's overlap to create sigmas and pi's. Now the order will be very much the predictable one, so we will have these two in the order they're expected to be in, so sigma and sigma star, and we have our sigmas and pi's, and up here pi stars and sigma stars. And F2 would have had um, 14 valence electrons, positive removes one, so I'm going to put 13 in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then to get our bond order, we're going to add up all of the bonding electrons. Those two, two, and those four. Subtract all the antibonding orbitals, two and three, and then divide that by two. So five minus eight minus five divided by two is one and a half, or D is our answer. So in this case, F2 positive does make that um, bond straightly stronger than an F2 bond normally is found to be.